In this video, I'm gonna give you a really underrated passing concept that you can use to really beat every coverage in the game. And it's one of the reasons why I still think Chip's tight end is a very powerful offense this year. Even though man coverage is really good, um, I wanted to give you kind of a, a little tutorial in this video about how to space the field with Chip's tight end. Now, when I talk about spacing the field, I think that's a really important piece of as to why I personally really like Chip's tight end because of the way that it spaces the field. And uh, we're going to show you a little concept out of this. You can do this out of any play. I'm going to show it out of PA Counter Go. You can do this out of any play. And um, what we're going to do is show you some different concepts. And the general principle whenever you're facing a man-to-man -man meta is you want to run against man and you want to sit against zone. Okay. Now in Madden, it's moreover, we want to have natural man beaters or routes that beat man. And then we want to essentially turn them into floods or zone beating concepts okay so your standard man-to-man -man meta is basically this um if they want to send pressure at you i'll show you that real quick so let's say they want to send a blitz so we're going to blitz these two corners by the way i do think this is actually a really good way to run this defense um and the reason why is because you see here i'm in a blitz look if i motion any of these guys across um out of this defense you'll notice oh no that baseline on my mistake um but you'll notice that we can actually uh, you know kind of align a little bit better so anyways we'll come back to that in a second but what i want to show you is this so uh we're talking about spacing the field one of the best routes in the game to beat man is this rounded out route to the tight end so we're going to kind of build on this and essentially what we're going to do is we're going to drag our middle trips receiver or inside trips receiver we're going to flat this outside trips receiver so why would we flat a player again in a man-to-man -man meta primarily for zone coverages right so the flat is going to be kind of that route that's going to space the field and then we're going to have this backside in route coming uh you know to get open and what you'll see with this is even if we do get blitz you got good protection because you're in play action and you also have the ability to hit this quick out. Um, and the thing that I like about the, the, the really important piece that I want to get across is one of the things that I really like about out, out routes and deep in, in routes, <coughs> excuse me, um, out routes and deep in routes is this right here. You'll, you see here, this is cover three. You see how the deep third doesn't guard the uh, out or the in route. So you don't have to have vertical pull routes for these routes because they're, um, again, a little bit more shallow of a route. So now if they do go to the out route, then you see here, we can still freeform this outside. And that was a cover three. That was a cover three with purples and the beauty of how we can attack zone just by spacing the field properly. Now, if, we, if they go to the out route, we can check it down to the drag. And again, I know this is fairly basic, but having something like this um, is really, really important based on the fact of the way man-to-man -man works. Now, again, this is a very simple concept, but let's say they're in drop eight, cover four drop. Watch this, here's a hard flat. The hard flat guards the drag. He actually got a crazy lurk. I don't know how he picked that off. I think that was part of the passing velocity ability. Um, but what you'll see is against cover four drop, if I um, turn this into a cover four hard flat, the hard flat should guard the drag. And then you see at that point, I can throw that with an outside pass lead, free form to the sideline and be able to attack zone. So in this little concept, as simple as it really is, we have several routes that beat man to man and we have several routes that can help us uh, combat a zone defense. You got this out route, you've got this dig, which is one of the best routes. You have to understand another thing that you're gonna get this year is people are gonna be conscious to the C route and trips. Um, I've done a video on this, the C route being probably the most consistent man beating route in the game. Uh, you can just put that outside of C route. And C route. So they're gonna do something like this and you see how he's gonna get his hips turned the wrong direction and you're gonna be able to throw this. Now what they're going to have to start doing is, you know, maybe dropping the zone, um, you know, dropping that zone into the middle of the field. And then that's where we can go with a secondary setup, which is basically this. Now we have a C route over there. Um, another way that you could get at this 
is to use the play PA slot corner. Um, but what you'll see here, same kind of concept, but now you see here we have a C route to the left side to be able to combat man-to-man -man coverage. So you can kind of build around these basic principles, and again, it all comes back to spacing the field. So another spacing of the field that we can do is let's say that we want to run a C route. What we could do is we could actually run something like this where we're going to have this tight end on a out route. We're going to drag uh, Jones and we're going to smart route an in route Godwin. So now you see here, you know, kind of something like this. Um, again, this is kind of freestyling to a little bit of a degree, but you see how effective um, this can be. Okay. So you want to just simply run, if you will, against man. Now let's talk about the man-to-man uh, -man pressure meta real quick and how this play can kind of combat that. So in this example here, we're sending six um, at the quarterback. Um, if we wanted to use that guy, we could, but I'm not going to worry too much with it. So anyways, what we're going to do here is run that first concept. What you'll see is this out route on the right is really good for beating dollar. Uh, trips tied in as a general basics is one of the better dollar beating formations and personally from running um, I've been running some other formations in this game and I can't find a more important formation to master than trips and the main reason why is because dollar if you can't block dollar you're screwed in this game because of how fast the pressure gets on you how good the coverage is so in this example we have a pretty decent ability to be able to hang hang in there with dollar now um, let me show you something else you can do so let's say that we want to you know drag the tight end that's going to create a high low over there we're going to use that smart routed out or in route to triangle you could also use a post and then we're going to motion this guy across and what we're going to do with him is we're going to put him on a little slant or something quick so you see here get the c route get the drag you see how fast i can make these reads now i'm getting shedded but you see how fast i can make these reads you want to have these again these simple little pieces um a very simple example would be something like this where we have a wheel route to fournette we can run a smart routed dig to godwin that gives us that shallow cross concept in the middle um and then what we can do you know is have uh for example a c route on that side if we wanted to motion over uh jones we certainly could do something like that um you know if we wanted to motion him over on a you know a, a fade as well or something like this this is fine um it puts them in a tough spot and now they go there and then maybe you catch them lacking or whatever so the beauty of this is not only in how it can attack man but also how it can attack zone let me give you an example of a zone uh a beater so we're going to have a C route on the left side for man. We're going to drag our tight end. We're going to bring this guy across, put him on the fade. And now you see how this can all work together, right? So now we still have that shallow cross, but now we have this, this um, crossing route that is super underrated this year. Most people have kind of gone away from these crossing routes. Um, I'm not saying they're like as good as they've been in years past. But what I am saying is if you have the right routes around them, you can actually make these pretty solid. Um, you know, a setup like this is actually very, very effective. And you'll see here, got that quick drag there, got that crossing route right there. So you see how, how good this offense works together. And again, I'd recommend like you could do this out of, um, you could do this out of a completely freestyle look. So you could put that guy on an in, you've got Rudolph on a drag, you've got, and then you have something like this. Uh, or even better, you could do something like this because now the fade or the streak to Jones will clear out zone for your C route, right? So I look right, that's not there. Look to my tight end, that's not there. And about that time, my dig is coming over the middle. So really simple way to kind of freestyle out of trips. Uh, you can do this out of anything. But the bottom line is the smart routed in routes, the smart routed in routes um, paired with these like like just something simple like this. Um, as simple as it is, it's really effective this year. And it's hard to hard to cover in man. So if you want to learn the rest of the trips tied in stuff, the more advanced stuff in the ebook, make sure you join our Patreon. $10 will get you access to all of the videos over there. And uh, thanks for watching the video. If you want to sign up for the Patreon, the link is in the description. So just head down there and click the link below. Hope to see you guys at the Patreon.